Hello, welcome back to Diagonal Move. My name's Neil. Today I'm going to be taking a very quick look at a game I'm really excited to get my hands on at last, and that game is Meltwater from Holland Spiel, designed by Erin Lee Escobedo. It's a game for uh, two players, lasts around about 60 minutes, has a high solitaire suitability, and it's an introductory level game. It's uh, if, number 33 in the Holland Spiel catalogue. It's a game which has a interesting take, shall we say, on um, on the Cold War and an alternate history of of the Cold War, in which care in which uh, the superpowers of the time have launched their nuclear missiles and annihilated the world. And the last remnants of what's left of humanity are taking refuge on Antarctica. And even as they do it, and the radiation creeps ever closer, the superpowers are still fighting and still trying to kill each other. Very bleak sounding game, right up my street. And so let's take a quick look in the box. It is quite a thin box, as you can see. It's my first game from Holland Spiel. Um, and yes, quite a thin box. Um, so inside we have um, some cards, some counters in a very ominous looking black, one half sheet of counters, they're pretty thick. There is a rule book with a nice logo or slogan of a game of tactical starvation, really sets the scene, that does I think. Um, and then finally we have we have the map. I'll uh, take a quick look, quick look at these, all these things in turn. So let's, let's start with the rules. And the rule book is not that big for a sort of war game-ish game. Uh, play rate is on the back uh, in a few different phases throughout the game. Uh, and a few credits and so on at the bottom. The book itself is only five pages, so that's not bad at all. There's a little bit of general designer notes at the back, okay, and it's quite text heavy, but um, looks fairly straightforward to read. And there's, there's a quote at the top there from General Thomas Power, who seemed to have an issue with <laughs> with the opposite side, according to that quote, at least. Um, so that's the rule book. We have the counters. These are thick, thick counters. We have the the two sides, uh, the, the US and the Soviets. The neutral civilians or the refugees, uh, marker, markers, and then these things at the bottom are stockpiles of resources. Um, and we have the different citizens of the two nations plus the military military forces as well. They are quite um, quite well stuck in there. I'm not going to push too hard in case I rip anything, but they show, no, it looks like they're coming out quite well, so they should be okay. Uh, but they're nice thick counters, very, very thick. That's good. We have the radiation tokens, which are these little discs. Yeah, very ominous black, black tokens. We also have the cards. Quite a small deck, of, well, quite small in size. The cards, however, there's a fair number of them. Each one has locations uh, corresponding to the hexes on the map, and I'll show you how those work in a mo. Quite nice cards, actually. They, And then finally, we do have the map itself, which as with the rest of what's in the box, it is pretty good quality. It's a nice, nice thick map, very, very big and clear to read. Um, and it's a map of Antarctica. And essentially what's going to happen, uh, as far as I understand it throughout the game, um, is the forces will set up at their various locations and on the board and each turn the players will take actions and move their forces around and, and fight and so on. And then there will be a phase where the radiation 
creeps ever closer. I think you'll draw a card and the card will correspond to where the radiation goes and the refugees that arrive from South America and where have you. Uh, Australia, I believe, is the other location mentioned in the book. And over a period of time, what will happen is the radiation will get ever more spread throughout the game until finally all that's left is one side's forces and radiation. And the winner is the person who completely annihilates the other side, even as the radiation comes ever closer in. So yes, a very bleak game by the sound of it, but very, very interesting idea, very interesting um, looking game. I can't wait to play this one. And I will do a proper playthrough video when I do get my head around it and how things work and, and so on. Um, I hope that's been helpful. Just a short video today. Uh, see you next time.